Uh, there are, of course, uh, several reports out there, or I should say a lot of speculation out there about whether, in fact, uh, this was an attack that was planned beyond Hamas, uh, potential involvement from Iran. Obviously, that would involve oil markets beyond what we're looking at right now. Um, how much of the pricing right now, you think, has ever already factored in the fact that this is a conflict that could spread beyond Israel and Hamas? I don't think that's been fully factored in at all. I think, as I say, what you're seeing is jitters. Um, you know, there have been reports. The Iranians have denied it. Um, other factions have denied that the Iranians were directly involved. Um, you know, as part of what we're seeing is noise, and part of what we're seeing is a fog of war. I mean, this was a devastating attack on Israel, and one that appears to have caught them completely by surprise. And I think for the Israeli government and the security establishment there, there's going to be a temptation to point fingers. Um, you know, were we to see this conflict increase, then, you know, it immediately brings about worries related to the Straits of Hormuz, whether Iran would operate there. Then you're talking about 20 percent of global flows. The kind of price impact that you would see on those worries would be huge. So really, this has been relatively contained and, you know, worth looking at, I think, in a broader context of, you know, a market that has been shaped and prices that have been shaped by a battle between futures and fundamentals where futures have won out, concerns about demand next year, concerns about glo the global economy next year. Um, that's what brought us down from 97 to 84 last week. Um, I say we've seen a slight bounce on that, but we've not even sort of recovered halfway towards where we were in late September. So I think, you know, were this were there to be signs of a significant escalation, were there to be signs of direct confrontation between Israel and Iran, and were there to be real worries about the flows of oil, then the spike is going to be much more significant. Medium term, that demand picture that you just pointed to, you think that's going to continue to drive the price or you think this conflict that has now played out day three here has injected a new risk into the energy patch? I think it's injected a little bit of risk. But, you know, again, look at where prices were just, you know, 12 trading days ago and where we are right now. So I think this crisis has injected a certain amount of <clears throat> uncertainty. You're seeing that, and that's the sort of three and a half dollar jump that you saw this morning. Um, but I think, you know, fundamentally, this market is still being shaped by a longer term outlook for 2024. And, you know, traders are going to keep a very close eye on the immediate event. So that's what will give you the little ticks at the bottom. But, you know, getting to a, a higher price or recovering even, as I say, to where we were in late September, um, you know, that's going to require the market sentiment to shift away from focusing on what they see as bearish um, indicators for next year.